Or are we going all right? Now, nah, coach. Are you psyched, bro? Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, lucky Mount Cook, the highest peak in New Zealand. It sits in the deep terrain of the Southern Alps. Mount Cook was first climbed by Jack Clark's party in 1894. Since then, its beauty has attracted generations of climbers, attempting the summit of 3,724 meters in different styles. Mount Cook is notoriously dangerous due to its fast-changing snow conditions, especially for Linda Glacier route, which is the way we're going to go up. The route is surrounded by the deadly object hazards, such as icefalls, monster-sized crevasses, and avalanches. Just like taking time bomb, it can explode at any time. And yet, our objective of this trip is to climb it and fly it down on our paraglider, and we call this style paralpinism. In order for this to happen, we need a strong team. Yo, what up, MTV? What are we doing for dinner, guys? <laughs> Surely, what are we doing? McDonald's! McDonald's! Once the team is assembled, we took a ski plane to access the base camp of this trip, Plateau Hut. After watching the ski plane take off, the feeling of the remoteness starts to creep in. Oh. Hey Johnny boy! Yo! Where are we going? We're going up a mountain! Since we got here early, Johnny, James and I decided to go for a walk up to Glacier Dome and fly down. As in our last minute training, while Roy and Hannah went for a ski touring around the glacier. Are you stuck, bro? <laughs> Excited as I can be. <laughs> Gonna jump off the cliff. Yeah, buddy. This is Joe here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What time, what time is it, Johnny? Oh, like, are we going to talk at night? 11.17. 11.17. <laughs> Ready for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> In order to avoid all the ice falls and avalanches, we had to leave Plateau Hut around midnight, while the snow is still frozen solid. The crux of the Linda Glacier route is this section called Summer Rock. It is a multi-pitch mixed climbing with bolted anchor and it is recommended to climb it in the first line to reduce the risk of getting lost. Look at the view! Shit is good. Currently Billy James. Woo! Bowling world. Once we reached the summer coal, we realized there are dry mice on the west side of the mountain. Dry mice is a very bad news for the pair alpinist because it can snag your line and cause your glider come up unevenly then throwing you off the hill or cut the line on your glider and make you unable to take off however on the west side of the mountain it's slightly flatter so you can lay your wing and check your lines and feel less exposed there is no rhyme ice on the east side but it has a 55 degree snow slope with 1500 meter vertical drop and the exposure is outrageous. One slip and I will be gone. After helping Johnny and James take off, I was on my own at the summer coal. There is no way I'd be able to launch from the west side without any assist. I have to try to launch from the east side. The most important thing to launch from a steep slope like this is to make sure my glider come up in a controlled manner. 
In this case, a no-stone cobra is the perfect way to do it. Once I anchored my glider with the snow, the wind will do the rest. Yahoo! When I flew past the south face of Mount Cook, my mind started to wonder, it might be possible to climb more than just one route on different aspects in a day with the help from a paraglider. That might be the future of paraalpinism. Best experience I ever had. That's awesome. <laughs>